Now at Inspire Group, we like circles as well. And what we try to do is look at data sets from thousands of different leaders all over the world, all the people that we developed, how they were doing years later, what difference it made in their lives, what were, the, what were the real simple essences of leadership for them. And here you go, there's not 32.7 million suggestions. So again, hopefully I can save you some time. There's just three, and it's simply this. You need to have a growth mindset if you're gonna be a great leader. Growth mindset, you can read about that, but I'll just break it down for you. A growth mindset is simply the ability to grow from your mistakes and to see your mistakes as a prescription for success next time. Now in scaling a business and growing a team, you will make mistakes and fail fast all the time. And that's brilliant, because if you're not doing that, you're not trying hard enough. As long as you see those as a prescription for success next time, and as long as you share those with your teams as well, and share that with vulnerability. You need to be able to lead yourself before you lead others. You need to be proud of how you do that. When I became a father 12 years ago, I had to change my whole approach to leadership and my team because I now had these other responsibilities that were important to me. Be proud of the balance in your life. Be proud of leaving to go to a school event or to go and see your grandchildren or whatever that thing is. Be proud to leave at lunchtime to go to the gym. That is leading by example. Not being the last one to leave. There's a lovely article it's, um, called Leaders Leaving Loudly, started with Pepsi and Walmart, it's spreading all over the world. And this is about leaders leaving early, leaving loudly and being proud of it because that is showing a great example for people coming up through their teams. And the final circle there I think is the most important. And if people ask me what, it's just, just tell me the most important thing about leadership. Now Roshan before said about be clear and clarity and I would absolutely agree because the most important thing a leader has to do is to direct and inspire. In fact, if you think about it, that's all a leader needs to do. They need to give clear direction and inspiration. But if they only do one of those things, it's no good. If you've had leaders that are very clear on direction, you know exactly what to do, but you don't feel very excited or motivated at all that it's gonna be life-changing or purposeful work. If you have a leader that's inspirational and energizes you, you feel incredible about doing your work, but you haven't got a clue what work it is you're supposed to do. So the answer is to direct and inspire. And the great leaders, what do they do? They alter that balance between direct and inspire thousands of times every single day. Probably dozens of times in every conversation. They read the terrain, they know their staff, they know the situation, and they're incredibly situational about their response. So direct and inspire. And the only way we direct and inspire, by the way, is through conversation. And if you want to know what leaders all around the world find most difficult to do, it is having difficult conversations, because it's hard. What do followers get most frustrated about from their leaders? They never have difficult conversations. They never tackle performance issues. They never do those things. They always have their favorites. They never challenge different behaviors. So conversations, and I think about the work that we do all over the world, and it sounds very simple, but the one thing that we teach leaders to do is to have conversations, quality conversations.